Well, we're here today at Phil Harper Motorsports to break in a new CT525 GM Performance Parts Circle Track Crate Engine. We're going to break it in on the diner today and then do some power pulls. So we want everybody to see how we test and see the results. So without any further ado, here we go with the break in. Well, there was the first power pull on the CT525. We'll let it mellow out here for just a second and take another pull. Here's the second pull coming up. The last one we had 532. We'll see what pulls this time. Sweet, that 534, if my untrained eye caught it right, we'll take a look after we idle down here. Last run, we got another 534. That's the sixth and final run on the break-in cycle. Just wanted to give you a little flavor of what the engine sounds like at idle. We're just cooling down now. We were idling a little bit earlier at just about 800 RPM. Pretty sweet for a stock car engine. Right now what you're hearing is about 1300 RPM. Well, we've had a successful break-in period today, right out of the crate from GM Performance Parts, as advertised, 525 plus horsepower, over 480 foot-pounds. So if it fits your program, we'll build you one too. Okay, good start. Looked like about 5.33 on the first pull. We'll let her cool down just a second and do a second. Okay, here we go with the second pull. Great pull. I think we had about 533 on that one as well. So we're good to go. 
We'll let this thing cool down, put it in the crate, and this weekend it'll be on the racetrack. Well, there you have it. There's the second set of power pulls on our great CT525 circle track engine based on the Corvette LS3. We've had very consistent performance today, over 530 horsepower out of both engines. So I'm sure you'll have the same experience. So if you'd like further information, contact any GM dealer and he can get you more information about this race engine or look in our catalog or online at gmperformanceparts.com. Let's go racing.